Hi. Hi, teacher. Oh, hi. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Helen. Good evening. For all. Okay, good. Here we are. How's everything? Good? Good. How was the weekend? Well, in quarantine. <laughs> okay. No, but it's over. Yeah. Right. Tomorrow we have to work. We start to work. And tomorrow everybody running out. Yeah. yeah. Running, running out and free. Yeah. Okay. Like a chicken. <laughs> yes, yeah, like. How was the chicken? Chicken on the run. Yeah, the movie. Uh huh. Chicken on the uh, run. Chicken run. Yes. Now we're gonna we're gonna look like pollito and fuga, right? Uh huh. <laughs> Everybody. Okay. Not that pollito and fuga. Just like porky Ginger. and fuga. Ginger. <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> so that would be like, you know, like like. Pork. like Pork. Peppa Pig. Yeah. Ginger and Rocky. Uh -huh. <laughs> On the run. Okay, good. So, sounds like fun. We'll see what happens. Okay, thank God everything will be okay. Okay, yeah. we won't have any any issues, any problems. Okay. So we have yes. Oh no! Wait, wait. We have some reading to do. Section three. And then we start with section four. Okay. You can't see that one, right? We can't. Why, why, why? No preview available. Yes. Probably. Yeah, but I think, I think if, if the audio... Probably the audio. Not... Hello, teacher. Hey, hello. Hi. No, it has not. The teacher has a problem. But Who? I think we can read, teacher. We can read because the audio... Doesn't you, fix. You can read it, right? Yeah, it's the same. It's the same that in the audio. Yes, okay, just let me... I don't listen. Good. Who can listen? Can I listen to the audio? Yeah, no, right now it's not playing. Right now it's not playing. Okay. Making changes. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes, now you can, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah just, just let me... Uh, What could be the problem? I would can probably that it should be uh -huh. and here.
Well, can you see it more or less? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now let's yes. listen. Okay, and let's again, then we answer your question. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? <laughs> Okay, listen again. That's for the pronunciation. Making changes. Part A. Listen and practice. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah. Parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? Okay. Any questions about expressions or vocabulary that you heard? No. Oh, no, no teacher. Okay? No. Okay, perfect. Now let's see. and. Test our memory and see, for example, what kind of wishes does Terry have? Uh, he wishes he could get a better job. He wishes he had his own apartment and that life wasn't so difficult. Or he wishes he could move back in with his parents. He wishes he had his own apartment. He had his own apartment. Okay. Oops. Okay, the number two. What kind of wishes does Brian have? The, the, the last he, one. The last one. He wishes he worked somewhere, somewhere else. else and live somewhere more exciting. More exciting. Okay, good. What do we have in the third one? We'll write the following sentence using wish. Laura doesn't have any free time. The first one. The first. The first one. She had some free time. Yes. Okay. And rewrite the following sentence using wish. Then can't fit into his old jeans. The second one. The second one. The second one. Second. Second. It wasn't there. Second. Okay. There we have reviewing. Okay. So all of them were correct. Okay, guys. And this is the end of the uh, section three. Okay. Did you all uh, answer the, did you take the midterm exam? No? No. No. Okay, then, uh, yeah, because they, today they told me from the office, central office, not specifically about you, right? I mean, the group. But in general, they sent an email to all the teachers to remind the students to do the, the exams, okay? So do we have okay. for, uh -huh. just for this week, for end exam or? Yes, um, yeah, because uh, if you don't finish this week, then you will, you will accumulate the rest of the activities that you have to complete for section four and five. Okay. And in the section five, oh, okay. you have another, another, the, the final exam, right? Mm -hmm. So then uh, it's better if you finish this week. Okay. And then, uh, and, and we don't have, you don't have to, to accumulate all the activities for the last minute. Okay. 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 All right, so then let me. Yeah, because we already covered all the material that you need to know. So there is no problem. Because now we're going to start, today we're going to start with a new topic.
okay? Different from those, but we can always mix them, right, to, to practice, okay? We have this one, which is about, it's very slow, this platform today. Okay, there we are. Okay, good. Now, uh, yeah. Elena, can you do me a favor and read this uh, objective here, please? Okay. Practice asking and answering questions in English using the present perfect and simple past tense. In this lesson, English teacher Joy Science explains when use when use simple past versus the pers present perfect tense, depending on the time frame on the of the action. Practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever and describing your past experience by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Okay, good. Then I will give you a tip, right? The video lasts, I guess, like nine minutes or a little bit more. So then while you are listening and uh, take notes and also prepare some uh, expressions and sentences, right? About yourself, okay, for example, or questions that you can ask uh, the rest of the group. For example, have you ever, okay? This is very, uh, very common, uh, let's say, uh, word used in this kind of question. Uh, when you say, have you ever, means that if at least once in your life, okay, you have done something, right? For example, uh, have you ever seen an elephant fly? An elephant flying? Fly. Like a movie. Justin, uh huh. Then you say yes, <laughs> yes, I have, but in movies, okay. Dumbo, right? Dumbo. You can say yeah. yes, okay. But you know, in reality, you said no, I haven't because elephants don't fly, okay. But in movies, you know, cartoons, then or any other kind of movies uh, with a lot of science fiction, probably you can see them fly, okay. Or mythology, right? In mythology, you can see horses fly, right and horses don't fly. Okay, good. So then uh, pay attention also how they, how we can combine the present perfect and the simple past. Remember, uh, Anna, uh, do you remember the present perfect? When, yes. when and how do we use it? The present perfect is when the you uh, auxiliary do and does okay no person perfect no it's an half Simple and has half and has exactly uh-huh okay you, we use the auxiliary verb have and has okay and when do we use it can anybody tell me in which moment um, to express uh-huh to express the action in for example, uh, in this moment, mm -hmm. past in this moment. That would be present progressive. Okay. Okay. The present perfect teacher, I think, is an action that you have made at least once. Uh huh. At least or once. A negative could be never, but but uh huh. But what is the, the moment? For example, remember that when we use present is an action that we do every day. I eat every day, okay, habits, right? A past, an action it's that- It's a fall of the past in definite time. Uh-huh, okay. Is an action that began in the past and gets to the present, okay? For example, I have a taught English for 20 years. Okay, I have taught English for 20 years. This is the period of time that I have been a teacher, right? So, when did the, in past tense, when did the action start? In the past. Uh -huh. When? 20 years ago. 20 years, 20 ago. years ago, correct, in that simple past, okay? 
The action started 20 years ago. And when will the action finish? That's what Anna <laughs> said, right? It's indefinite, right? Uh -huh. Probably today, okay? Okay, probably tomorrow, right? Today, if tomorrow I win the lottery, I will say, okay, I don't teach anymore, okay? Mm -hmm. now I will study other languages, okay, and teach later. Okay, so then probably that depends, right? So then is the present perfect is an action that is started in the past, gets to the present when, the, when we are speaking, and will probably continue in the future. Will probably, okay? Suppose we can say that we have been in, the, in this class, how long? For more or less 15 minutes, right? I have been in this class for 15 minutes. The class started at 8, now it's 8.19, and we'll probably, if there is no problem with the electricity or internet or anything, or then I will continue until 9 p.m. Okay, so actually that's the present perfect. You see that the present perfect has a timeline from the past, now in the present, and continues, might continue in the future, okay? This is to give you an idea, and then you watch the video, and then you, you can probably get more ideas from the explanation in the video. And at the end of the video, if you have questions or doubts, we can discuss them, okay? Now, okay. listen. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you- I'm hungry. Be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued in the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past, and you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question right such as the example that we see there yes I have I tried them last month and I want you to notice the question towards the bottom it's no longer in the present perfect but it is now in the simple past and that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now the question is related to uh, the example that you see there, I tried them last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is yes, I did. And then you give more information. They were delicious. 
and so we do the same thing uh, towards the left towards towards the right side of the example of this chart have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant we start off the question using the present perfect and then you continue on and and you give either a positive or a negative answer and then in this case it happens to be a negative answer no I haven't um, and then you might give more information but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night right Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. In order for us to form questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject, then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? By the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be yes, I have or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question either yes I have or no I haven't and then this next sentence we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement and the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past so in this case I'm going to say I tried them last month so this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month. So I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now all the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is no, I haven't. 
but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both. The present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue the present. And then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Uh, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience, okay? So if you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like, did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well, you can, you can respond to that by answering, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. I thought it was great, or I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Um, as you answer these questions, what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes, I have, and then I want you to tell me that past experience. So similar to the examples that we see on the chart, Let's say the question is, have you ever eaten Mexican food? And let's say that your answer is, yes, I have. Then you will tell me where and how did you like it? So as you can see, what I'm trying to get to is that you give me your response and then you give me information about that particular past event. And that's what I would like for you to do for all of those questions there. Past experience. So similar to the examples that we see. Then you will tell me. So as you can see, what I'm trying to get to is that you get. Okay. That's it. Now, um, well, probably I'm just going to reinforce this part that you see. When you see that, have you ever? Then we are going to use the past participle of the verbs, right? For example, eat is the base form. A, ate is the past, the simple past. And eaten is the past participle, okay? This is an irregular verb. A, in the, well, if you use try, for example, this is in, yes, I have, I tried and this is in past. But the regular verbs, remember that the past and the past participle is basically the same. Okay, you can say I tried, then in past tense I tried, and in past participle I tried. Okay, try. Then, and when we use the simple past, okay, we use did you like, and you use the base form, and yes I did, and then you use the verb in simple past. So this is the combination of verbs, right? So that's why it is important to probably to, to master, you know, this, uh, this is structure because you have to remember that if we're using the present perfect, then you're gonna use have or has and the past participle of the verb. If we are using the in a question, then we're going to use the base form of the verb. 
an affirmative question, a sentence in there. Simple past, we only use simple past. Okay. And the other thing that I want to emphasize is, have you ever eat, uh, have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Then you say, yes, I have. And then, uh, like they said, you have to give some extra information, right? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I have. I ate Mexican food at uh, El Zocalo, right? Or at the, I don't know, at the, what is another one? At the, the pinching. pinching, right? Yes, I say, or how did you like it? Okay, yes, I ate, uh, then you say, for example, I ate the uh, Mexican food at El Pinche and I liked it a lot. And I liked it very much. Okay, this food. Oh, I didn't like it. Okay, it depends. Have you ever visited Europe? Yes, I have. I went to, I don't know, I went to, to Italy. Italy. I went to Italy. Uh, six months ago or two years ago four years ago and i loved it i enjoy it a lot no it was wonderful okay and then this is for example one of the ideas of using these two these two uh tenses but the important thing is to use them properly okay correctly in the right form okay Questions in this moment about this? No? No. Sure. Okay, good. Then I'm going to give you, uh, let me see, we have uh, it's 10 minutes, okay? We're gonna make three, three groups, no, six, six groups. Okay, 17, yeah, six groups. Okay, so some people left. Two, three. And then we're gonna have five groups, okay? Then these five groups, and then uh, you are going to uh, prepare a conversation, okay, the three, using have you ever, and using when did, where did, how, for example, have you ever, uh, have you ever been to, let's say, to Malibu in, in Los Angeles, right? And they say, oh, yes, I have. Okay. When did you go there? Okay. Oh, I was there in 2005. Okay. Did you like it? Oh, yes, I liked it a lot. And then you can ask the three people, okay, this short conversation. Okay. Prepare this conversation. You're going to have like seven minutes, more or less. Okay. And then when we come back to the to the main session, to this session, so you are going to tell your conversation to the rest of the class. Okay? Ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to make the groups. Yes, accept the, the invitation, please. Here we go. Okay. Hey, Carlos, join the group. Carlos, are you there?
I don't I I don't remember the name the of the movie, but was this army? Did you like it? No, the end <laughs> was <laughs> uh, no was that I that I expect. So I don't oh, know. okay. <laughs> yeah. It's and a you? Lot. Eh, eh, no, eh, recently no, because okay. I because I have a, a daughter and she take the the TV all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, you only see uh, cartoons. Yes. Yes. Yes, and I hate when I talk about the basketball <laughs> because I hate a little bit basketball by now. Basketball is uh, when the ball is, is uh, shoot down in your face. Maybe this this hit is so very, very strong. Yes. Because the is so hard. I know. And what about you? Have you ever played basketball? I play uh, I play volleyball. Yeah. Okay. okay, guys. Have you ever drunk vodka <laughs> or or something with alcohol? Uh, I have uh, whiskey. Gladys. Excuse you, me, excuse me. No, I, 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 I. Have you ever? No. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. And you? And you? Have you ever drive, drive, vodka? Yeah. I like. No, not I like, but I sometimes I I drink, but only two or three beers. I drink. I drink. Okay. And you, Carlos, have you ever drow drow vodka? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yet. In my yes. case, I haven't yet. Oh, really? Really? Yes. Uh, also, visited different places to Guatemala, but I don't visit it, the Aurora Zoo. Uh, yes. Ricardo doesn't appear. Is he there? No. <laughs> no, Ricardo doesn't appear. All right, so he's. Yeah, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. <laughs> right? It was his day to go okay. out with his ID number. <laughs> <laughs> he went to the supermarket, maybe. Okay. Yes, maybe. <laughs> I learned you. Okay, good. Okay. Just listening. Okay, good. Okay, good. Just let me. And now. What else, Aide? Uh, have you ever drunk alcohol? Alcohol. No. Alcohol. <laughs> no. Alcohol. I don't. I haven't. Okay. And you? Ha, no. Can you ask me some something, Carlos or Laura? I uh, have a question. Okay. Uh, have, you, have, have you ever tried eight um, uh, wait. Go ahead. I don't you don't? No. Um have you ever tried eight um uh, no sé cómo se pronuncia esto. Okay. What? Have you ever tried to Hi. what? Try to, to, to explain us. 
yeah. eh, la berenjena. Oh, okay. Eggplant. Eggplant. I, I learned this kind of uh, vegetables in the game, uh, plantas versus zombies. <laughs> yes, plants for uh -oh. Okay. Okay. Have you ever eaten a, a eggplant? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I have eat this kind of uh, vegetables in with in lasagna. Yes. Yes, I love. Delicious. Yes. yes. And you, Laura? Can you ask me some something? Yes. Um, have you ever forgotten an important birthday? I always forgot it all. <laughs> really? Uh, I try to, to, to make a list in, in my cell phone and with the important date. Okay, now everybody's back, right? Running back, nobody nobody's stayed at the cafeteria, right? Everybody's here. Okay, good. Now let's see, uh, let's see the no group number one, we had who? Let's see. Okay, Ada, Elena, and Javier, okay? Tell me a conversation, right? Interact, okay, a role play. Role play, role play one of the conversation, you know, like the ones you were practicing in your group. You say, hello, Ada, hi, Elena, how are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> no, act it out. Like if you were, you know, in, in I don't know, in, in La Gran Villa, you know, you say, hi, Ada, hi, Elena, hi, Javier. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, Ada. Hi, Javier. How are you? Excellent. And you? Excellent, I'm fine. too. I'm fine. Javier, yeah. how was your, your uh, visit to Mexico? Um, I visited Mexico uh, three years ago. How was your experience? Ah, it's a beautiful country, Mexico. Um, I, I visited the capital and uh, the people is nice and the food is good. Nice. And Nada, how, how are your daughters? Um, yes. Mm, repeat, please. How are your daughters? Ah, my daughters, uh, 10 and two years. Okay. And they are fine right now? They are in a school? Yes, but in this moment, um, uh, only, only, only Belen, my daughter, or uh, my daughter, my older daughter, study. Okay, oh, but in okay. this moment, no, because the quarantine. Quarantine. Yeah. Quarantine. Uh, okay. Ada and Elena. Ada and Elena. Uh, are you hungry? No, no. I ate after after the, ah, okay. <laughs> the class. Because before. Because the, before, because sorry. The, because we are here. Uh, there is a Japanese restaurant. Uh, have you eaten uh, have you eaten uh, Japanese uh, food for example sushi have you ever eaten uh, mm, no I like it <laughs> no I like it I'm mm. sorry no that, that yes. have, you, have, uh, have you ever eaten sushi uh, no I haven't no I haven't then no, I you say yes I then I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, no, I haven't because I don't like it. Okay, Thank you. you can use present, no problem. Okay. Okay. Hi, Elena. 
Yes, I have, but I don't like. Okay, yes, I have, but in the past, I? I didn't like. In your case, you didn't because you you, you, you ate, okay? But uh, okay. Ada didn't eat, okay? They say, okay. You say, uh, have you ever eaten uh, sushi? And then Ada says, no, I haven't because I don't like it. Okay, but she never okay. tried, but she doesn't like it. I don't know how. <laughs> okay. And in your case, Elena, you say, uh, yes, I have, but I didn't try it. Okay. Did you try it? Okay. But you didn't like it. Okay, good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Okay. Idea, the, the, this, it, yeah. Okay, listen. The idea is probably you can ask a couple of questions only, right? But the idea is also to keep a conversation going, okay? The role play. That you you know start speaking and connecting ideas using present, past, present perfect. Okay, so we're gonna have this kind of practice so that you can you can use it more. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent. Okay, teacher. Now let's see Israel, Mariela, and Nelson. Okay, Mariela, Israel. Yes, it's here. Yes. And Nelson. Okay, go ahead. Act it out. Okay, just you already had an example. Similar. Okay. The first group. Hello, guys. Maybe uh, Israel. Yes, <laughs> I don't have. Right. In the conversation, Israel. Okay. No. Probably he's having a problem with the audio or something. Hello, Maybe. good evening. Oh, yes, he's there. Sorry, Israel. Okay. Hello, guys. How's your days? Very well. And you? Uh, very well. Thanks for asking. Well, I have a question for you guys. What is the question, Mariela? Uh, have you ever uh, have you ever visited uh, Pennsylvania? No, I visited uh, Washington D.C. Really? Tell me about that. Tell it's me about a, your experience. About it's a nice. Uh, it's a beautiful city. It's uh, the museums is, is, uh, is free. The Smithsonian and the Museum of uh, American History is free. Are free. The city are free. Uh, the city is, is beautiful. The, the train and the metro is a re, is a experience, all an experience. Uh, really? the you can practice with the people uh, the people is so really funny and um, did it, you learn a lot yes i practice with the the people uh, i practice english oh uh, really the, uh, third or fourth day uh, i think that the uh, i practice uh, take a conversation with the native uh, people. Oh and yes. I don't have trouble. I don't you, have trouble. But when you I a good experience. Uh, back to Del Salvador, I lose the practice. <laughs> really, in my yeah. case, I would like to travel another country. For example, uh, USA, because it will an opportunity to to talk about the the native people. And I would like to learn a lot because when I when I practice with my sister, it's another thing. For example, uh, when I have a time, when I have time, I try to practice with my sister or with my friend. But it's all their their things. But one day I spoke. I spoke with the the native people. And I have, and I have experience, and I like it. Okay, thank you very much. Very good. Okay, this it's is okay. the key, right? Using present, past, and, and present perfect. Okay, excellent. It's okay. Thank you Thanks. very much. Okay, Carlos, Fur, okay. and Gladys. Okay. okay. Hello, Carlos. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. You? I have a question for you. Um, have you ever worked in the restaurant? 
Uh, I haven't. Yes? When? Repeat the question, please. Have you, have you ever worked in the restaurant? Have you ever worked uh, in a restaurant? I haven't. No, you haven't. I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. Huh? Okay. No. Mm -hmm. uh, you work at? Gladys, I'm going, I'm going to make a question, Gladys. Yes? Okay, have you ever visited Guatemala? Yes, I have. Um, I live in Guatemala. You I live in Guatemala or, or you live in the past? Live in, in the past in Guatemala. I live I live in I live. Guatemala. Mm -hmm. I live in Guatemala. How uh, many years did you live in Guatemala? I live in Guatemala uh, three years. Three years, uh, I work. Uh, I work uh, in the restaurant Mexican Mexican food. Ah, you're the expert. <laughs> so so. <laughs> uh, okay, another question. No. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay, you see we were talking about a uh, Mexican food and Gladys, you know, has all the experience. Gladys is the expert. Yeah, she's the expert. Okay, Ana, Aide, and Ricardo. Ricardo okay. doesn't appear. Oh, yes, he didn't, he didn't show up. <laughs> no, 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 he's Hi, Aide. Hi, okay, Ana. Ahead, ahead. What's your day? Aide. What's Aide. your day? Aide. <laughs> no, what, what your is day? your day? Uh, How was your day? How was your day? Mm -hmm. How was your day? Sorry. <laughs> uh, so great. Very good. Oh, uh, okay. In my case, it was okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I have a question for uh, us. Uh, I did. Have you okay. ever eaten rabbit? Rabbit? Rabbit. Yes, I have. I eat rabbit and when my mom cook the rabbit and I eat it in my family. Did you rabbit. like this? Did you like it? Yes, I like it. It's very delicious. Okay. And you, Ricardo? No. Have you ever eaten rabbit? No, I have. No, I haven't yet. <laughs> I yet, yet. Come on, Ricardo, yes, in my know. case, in my case, I have eaten uh, rabbit um, two years ago, two years ago. when I visited my brother, uh, my brother's uh, wife, cook there in San Jacinto. Oh, okay. He okay. lives live in San Jacinto. Okay. And yes, yes, it's very delicious. Okay, very good. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank okay. you. Okay, now the last but not least is Carlos, right? <laughs> Poor, Poor rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carlos, Diego, and Laura. <laughs> okay. Yes. Hello, Laura and Carlos. Hello, Diego Hello. and Carlos. How are, you? How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yes. I'm fine. Okay. I have a question. I have I... a question for you. Okay. Have you ever visited uh, El Peñón de Cayahuanca? Oh, I didn't know some place in El Salvador, but I... I... But mm -hmm. I listen that Chalatenango is a good place, okay. but I don't visit it. Uh, Canyon. Why did you? What did what? Why did you visit it? Uh, why 
did, didn't you visit it? The uh, Peñón de Cayahuanca. Why didn't you visit? Uh -huh. Visit. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, I didn't visit it. Visit? I, I didn't visit the Cañón Cayahuanca because uh -huh. I don't because I don't have time for visiting this place and I love and I love to visit the beach and and I don't like the mountain. And you Carlos, have you ever visited uh, the Peñón de Cayahuanca? No. I don't, I visit it. I haven't. I haven't. Mm -hmm. But I have a question for you. Okay. Uh, how do you feel for the end of the quarantine? Well, I feel happy, but a little bit nervous because uh, uh, the quarantine finished, but the virus is in the environment. I do. I am afraid uh, that the contagion will increase. 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 Yes. That's uh, and you, Laura? Uh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat the question, please? How do you feel for the end of the quarantine? Ah, I feel very tired because I. I work every single day in my thesis and then I I did exercise in my house. <laughs> then I clean my house very much. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, people, thank you very much. Okay, if you see, this is the kind of practice that we need, right? So then tomorrow we're gonna have, at the beginning, more practice. Uh, just remember and study the the past participle of the verbs, right? Uh, eaten, taken, seen. Have you ever seen a movie? Have you ever gone? Have you ever been to? Have you ever played? Okay, have you ever tried? Have you ever written? Have you ever sang in the karaoke? Okay, and after that, okay, when did you sing? Why did you sing? Who did you sing with? Okay, we're going to be using uh, have you ever with questions and then questions in the past tense with what did you do, when did you do it, why, uh, why did you do it, okay? So practice okay. the simple past tense of the verbs and the past parts, okay? So that would be okay. the practice for tomorrow. Okay. Okay, everyone. Okay. 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 So okay. have a very good night. Take care. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? okay Same time. Good night. Bye. Take care, everybody. Bye. Good night.